Hey, it's Ben Mookie Thomas. I want to apologize for just walking in the frame. Uh, I got a cheap camera and no talent at making videos, so uh, bear with me. I'm here today with. So what am I doing here if you have no talent? <laughs> you're my friend. You're my friend, dude. Yeah, I uh, when I started my YouTube uh, channel, I called on all my friends like, "Hey, I need content. Can I come over and hang out with you and shoot videos?" And I'm with Dave Fillers, uh, for me, former Army helicopter pilot. Uh, Met him at a training class probably 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Um, we've become good friends, and, and he went into the, left the, the toy industry, actually, and went into Game, fire, game industry. Gaming industry. Board games. Board games, and became a, a firearm industry dude. Um, for those of you who are going to ask, we are drinking Gentleman Jack. Smooth uh, bourbon that we're, or whiskey that we're very happy with. Cheers. So Dave um, wanted to get into AK-47 manufacturing, and his, his business partner, and he, they bought the assets, which in English for people like me, that means the tools and some of the machines from a company that's no longer in business. And uh, one of the things that I'm, I just want to get right to a, a, a question real quick. Um, if you're on my Facebook, you know you can give me questions to ask these people, and here's one. Kyle Badger, I got one for you to ask. Ask why they are so why they are so awesome to fix out of spec Waffen works for people like me. This says a lot about <clears throat> about a company. So the corporation that you bought to get their assets, some of their guns. We just bought the assets and right. the corporation. Yes. But you're honoring the warranty that they put out with their guns, even though they're out of business. Yes. That's awesome. I, I just it, it you know. I owned a gun shop for about eight years, you know that, been up to it, uh, own another firearm company and um, I'm really big into customer service. I mean, if you don't have customers, you, you, you know, and, and we're, I'm a shooter, you know I love to shoot, I love to right. train, I've been through several, several training classes and, you know, you got to take care of people and it was just the right thing to do. So we're doing it, and, and the warranties are really not that bad, and most of the items coming back are fairly minor that can be fixed in about 10-15 minutes. Um, they're not that bad. A few you know, barrels need to re be replaced, but overall it's uh, been maybe one or two rifles a week, and we try to get them back out in two or three days. Cool. Um, so Jimmy Seymour writes in, he wants to know, uh, being a knife guy, I geek out over metallurgy. What are the receivers made of? The milled receivers right now are made out of 4140. Um, they are uh, come in big chunks of metal, 4140. We get certs on them. They're, uh, I believe, and I'm not a metal guy. We have a metal scientist that advises us, and uh, uh, he's a great guy. We'll go into that later. But uh, it's a deluxe whatever that says on the metal cert. So I know that's a good thing. So it's 4140. Right on. The barrel's 4140 as well. Um, Marshall Alexander writes, ask them to make an AK pistol with SIG brace and definitive arms AR magwell, exclamation point, exclamation point. Well, a definitive arms, uh, Chase down in Florida, great guy, uh, another, uh, an AK genius. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, I encourage everyone to visit, visit, visit his site. He's got a Facebook page. Uh, makes very high-end quality AKs. Um, hit, for a Magwell, that would probably be like uh, an AK in 223. We're not mm. interested at this time in making a 223 AK. That would be the only reason to have a Magwell. Um, what was the first part of the question? Ask them to make an AK pistol with SIG brace. We're going to make an AK pistol, actually. You saw the barrel we had in there. The barrel, um, we're developing that. Uh, actually, right now, we have people cutting prototypes. Uh, it will be, uh, the big difference uh, for our AKs, our, our AK pistol, it will come with a slightly heavy barrel. It will have 5 8 by 24 threads. Um, it will use regular handguards, regular AK handguards. Ours are, are, are going to come with Hogue handguards. Uh, I just love the feel, you know, you get down and dirty and slippery. I like, I like Hogue handguards. They hang on to them, you can hang on to yeah. them. And then they've got those attachments, you can put rails on there for, for your lights, you know, or whatnot. But, uh, and the, uh, of course, the other unique feature is it's going to have a receiver block in the back that is not a conversion. It's a complete, newly designed rear trunnion 
that will accept a uh, kind of like a little little cup. Uh, uh, I believe A Stock makes those cups. Those are you can use them on our AKs. We'll make our own, but you can use those. And you put the cup on there, buffer tube, uh, six style brace, and you're good to go. I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, but, I like that, <laughs> but I know that, that, that these guys do. They're asking questions, and I'm like, that fucking kid's 12 years old. How does he know that? And I've had so many like, 16 year olds write me with really detailed gun or history war questions. I'm like, what are you doing at night? Why does Call Britain, of Duty. Why do, <laughs> Call of Duty. Why does Britain have such a baby face? Britain is his, is, uh, his oldest boy. Britain's oldest son, he actually builds AKs uh, for us uh, uh, down in the dungeon. Um, he's got a baby face because I guess he's like, Dad, I'm actually uh, about 87 years old. He is. His first helicopter uh, was de designed by Da Vinci. <laughs> you seen that? You know that yeah, little yeah. is famous. Um, Harry Bennett says, how are they improving on an already rock-solid platform? Why should I butt this product? Um, dude, it's not too hard to spell check. Meanwhile, I spell terribly as well. Um, Harry, let me answer that. Uh, actually, no, you answer that. Yes, an interview with you. I'll yeah, answer. okay. okay. Uh, Sorry. You know, the AK is a great weapon system. Um, I just feel that there's certain things that, that it could be changed. Uh, you have the traditional folks that, that, that want an AK, a traditional AK. They want it to look like it came from Mother Russia. I think an AK can be improved on. You yeah. know, uh, ergonomics, uh, cosmetics, Absolutely. different metals, different treatments to metals to yeah. make it last longer. And you're not the only, co you know, I was just at another uh, AK-47 company. Right. And they're, addressed, they're definitely working to improve their product as well through similar similar veins, different techniques. Um, what are, uh, Kyle McElroy or McElroy um, wants to know what the benefits of a milled AK over a stamped AK are. He says he's never had an issue with a stamped AK. Uh, some folks like milled, some like stamped. I mean, it's, it's what, what you want. Uh, they say uh, milled AKs are a little bit more accurate, um, more rigid, they are heavier. Um, could you run over one with a truck and it do better than a stamp gun? Probably. I mean, it's a hunk of metal. Um, so, I mean, AKs are AKs. They're going to, you know, if you build them right, they're going to work. It's, it's what do you want. They do look good, though. They look gorgeous. Do you remember when your son was like 13 years old and he came to Camden, Tennessee for a class and, and made pina coladas when we went over and played poker against some old ladies across the street. And one really high. Yeah. We were, yeah. I, I, could, I couldn't believe you took all that old lady. She was like seven years old. You took all her money. <laughs> it was like a business lesson for your son. Um, all right. Alan Johnson wants to know what furniture will work with them. I think he's probably referring to our milled guns. Uh, our milled guns take traditional furniture. Um, but I know that we have experimented, we've taken uh, some rails, some forward rails, and they fit, they do fit fine. Actually, the whole furniture that we have in for mm -hmm. testing that goes on the stamp guns, we have put that on our milled guns on the front part, and, and, it, and it works, and it fits really well. Looks good, too. Now, the back, the back is a traditional um, fixed stock. It's a milled fixed stock. The stamp stock will not work. Hmm. Kevin Frederick wants to know what brand of vodka you drink. Well, uh, it used to be Absolute, but you basically educated me on that, and now we've got what? Swit, Swit, Svedka. Svedka is a definite improvement over Absolute. Um, like I told you, I'm a big fan of Chopin, really good Polish uh, potato vodka. Um, here's a good question from Justin Eteris. Um, it, it, what is that in your picture, Justin? Will you, will you write on my page and explain what your profile picture is? It looks like a, it's like a circumcised rabbit or something. Um, <laughs> what's going to be your quality control for out-of-the-box rifles? Very good question, dude. Well, I think you saw part of the quality control yeah. yesterday. I mean, Absolutely. Um, you know, you can, you can build, uh, you know, I think we took like 63 guns to the range. And you had some issues with some of the guns. Some of the yeah. guns need work, so we actually shoot the guns. Um, 
when I uh, owned uh, uh, a company, uh, my gun shop, uh, for about eight years called 21st Century Firearms, now Prepper Ford, big shout out to them, good guys. Um, we got a lot of guns back. I mean, we got Smith & Wessons, we got DPMS, we got Bushmaster. I mean, I'm not picking on those three. I'm just saying they all came back. You know, but we want to at least know that our guns are shooting when they go out the door. That so they're shot at the range. Then they come in. They are refinished. They're, you know, sandblasted. They're painted with KG gun coat, and then we shoot them again. You know, usually about five to six rounds in the bull trap. Make sure it's good. We wipe them down, clean them up, go through them, run run a, a poor snake through. Visually check them all. We've got a little list that we go through and check everything, and we box it up. Um, I can tell you, I came down here and I knew nothing about how AK-47s are built um, or the business of them, you know, buying parts in Bulgaria or wherever and shipping them over here. And it's been a big learning process for me. But uh, I can attest to the fact that the, a batch of guns was, was built this week while I was here. And I went out with their lead engineer, Steve, and uh, test fired the guns. They, they sight them in, we'll get them pretty close to sighted in as I would consider them. To me, but uh, they function test and, and run rounds through it. And uh, we had a couple guns with extraction issues. Yeah. Um, and they didn't pass the muster. They went. They got notes written on the gun in magic marker. This is before they're painted and shit. And uh, they have the the guys have to fix what's wrong with the gun, and then it has to go out and be test they, fired right. again. You probably even test fired some that were that that didn't do well the first time. That's that. They that's right. Notes on them again. Yeah. Right. And they go back. They get repaired. They get test fired again. This is before they're ever uh, the the furniture's put on and any. And, and those are hand guards in case you're not an AK dork. Um, that's the hand guards. They call it furniture. Um, and before the paint's put on. And after then, they do more test firing. So so in terms of quality control, I, I'm I'm certainly satisfied with it. Um, that's, that's not to say that you know every now and then. I mean. I would sit here and be lying to you that I said that we will not have warranty work in the future. There, there are times when something happens, but we promise our customers we're not going to wait months and months. You can call us. We're going to answer the phone. We will get that gun back and fixed and back to you usually within two or three days. Right. So that's that's awesome. Um, it will not be going into a black hole and you'll never see it again. There are companies like that, but we won't mention any. James M. Goshen wants to know, are you going to make any Massachusetts compliant? I hope you don't. Uh, right now, we're behind on orders. We can't even keep up with the orders we have. We've got, I got, just had a distributor call me this weekend and it's kind of, you know, please, please, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, right. Get the, get them. So you can't, you, you don't have, I don't have time, time to yeah. Listen, listen, um, James, um, I have good friends that live in Massachusetts. I've been to Boston. It's a wonderful place. Um, a lot of good people live there. Um, but but move the place. Actually, the place sucks, and their their politics suck. Move to to my state where you can own machine guns and stuff. Um, live where freedom hasn't died. Um, Brandon Moffat, Mookie. This is what I want you to ask them. Parentheses. I have this friend in Hughes Springs, Texas, that would love to have one of your rifles, comma. Can you send him one free? LOL. <laughs> um, <No>. where, where, <laughs> where can people buy your gun? Uh, we've got four main distributors. We've got uh, uh, Atlantic Firearms, Classic Firearms, uh, AGS Armament Consulting, and AIM Surplus. Um, AIM's, uh, now some of them may be out of product right now, but they've got shipments that go out every two or three days. Actually, we just shipped some to uh, Atlantic yesterday. AGS has product AIM. Uh, they might be out of a fixed stock gun for a while, but they will have a, another folder. So just look around, look at those four. I mean, they're, right now that's that's who we're dealing with. Um, Gabriel Adams actually asked the same question, just a little more humor. Ask him if I can have one, you know, just because I'm a good guy. You are good guys, all of you. And I want to tell you this, anyone on my, my, my professional page, if you buy one of these DDI guns, you know, post up a picture, hashtag me in it, hashtag Mookie. Um, and, and, and get it on my page, and I'll, I'll send you a sticker, dude. All right, Oren David, and I apologize, because he's a good dude. I actually know him. I can't pronounce his last name. 
her terror H. Uh, it's H E R T E R I C H. Um, Oren, uh, can they make a piston version of the AK? Can we? Yes. Imagine that's a question you don't want to touch right now. Suspense. Um, what is the lead time on one from Jamie? Well, let's go back to an AK. An AK is a gas piston system, okay? But he's talking about a short gas piston. Short stroke gas piston system so that you can be able to increase your accuracy. Um, Jamie Alcock wants to know what the lead time on one of these is. You're already sold out and struggling we, we, to make orders. Yeah, we have distributors that have product in stock right now. You might have to go to those four. If they don't have it, move on or wait. If you're a loyal customer of one of those, one of those distributors, um, then just wait a little bit. Maybe send them an email. When are you going to get the product in? Um, we're, we're trying to take care of everybody. It's first come, first serve. We've got the orders in the system, and we're shipping weekly. Um, William Carroll II says, I'd just like to have all the specs on their build. Trigger group, springs, and two barrel finish. Will it fit AK furniture? Um, I don't want to sit here and listen to all that noise. Um, I would pass out from boredom. Um, I understand that's important to you gun geeks. Um, he's just going to have to answer that uh, through some kind of marketing media thing. Um, and I think uh, my battery's about to wear out. So, again, uh, Ben, Mookie Thomas, thank you for watching. Um, please watch every one of my videos. Um, watch the whole thing so I get full credit for it. Okay, this, this whiskey doesn't buy itself. Okay. Dave, thanks for having me. Thank uh, you. DDI Arms. And I, now I'm going to go up here and. Uh, Shit.